You're always wearing stripes. Not always. Look at the last video. Stripe. Just saying. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> just going to give a few minutes to let people join and then we'll get started and we're going to go over the new Cricut totes and the um the pouches which are kind of pretty cool actually hi Barbara Becky Kimberly Melody Melody who Jessica <gasps> Melody Lane and Melody Ruley hi Melody Lane hi Melody Lane's over there and Melody Ruley's and Melody Facebook. Ruley is out there <laughs> And Sylvia. And Hi, Christy. And Kimberly. Hey, Kimberly. How are you? I want the new totes. I did, too. <laughs> and when I got up to go to the bathroom at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I got an email from Cricket announcing the new totes, um... Uh, yeah, I didn't even ask Ken because he was asleep. I, I just ordered him. <laughs> Not that he would say no, but a lot of times things show up at our house in boxes and Ken's like, you ordered something? I'm like, come on, really? Well, then he asks me. Well, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Ken, do you want do you want to get these? And he was like, yeah, they seem pretty nice. I was like, okay, I ordered them at 2 o'clock this morning. And Kimberly's driving around because there's an open house today. Oh. So good luck. That There's a house on Fetzner if you wanted to live close to us. That's, I think she's driving around because her house has oh, an open house. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Did you find a new house yet, Kim? Now this has turned into the Did Kim Find a New House Yet show. <laughs> so, want to jump in? Sure. Let's talk about the new Cricut pouches. You can get them in blue, in mint, and in rose. Ooh. These are kind of cool to put all kinds of nifty stuff in. First of all, uh, they're uh, man-made materials inside and out. Um, so you unzip them, and you open them, and they open like that, and then you just peel the top down, and it stays open. So it has a little pouch in the front that you can put stuff in. Unfold it and show them, Ken. Oops. Oops. I'm pushing it the wrong way. And what's really nice is they also have a flat bottom, so it stays and stands just fine. Where so you guys can see it. There we have a bunch of it. tools. Uh, you know, when we did our um, starter kits, I said you could always use more than, than one weeding tool. Told you. So there's the main pouch, and in the front, they have a few little pockets. So there's just a little pocket there. So if you want to put smaller stuff in there. Or just to have some things in the front so they're easy to get to if you're using them a lot, like your weeding tool, as opposed to just having them all in the cup. And I know this is going to sound stupid, but you can put non-cricket tools in here too. <laughs> like a pen blade, <laughs> number 10, the blue one, George's favorite. In the blue pouch. So um, there's the blue one, the green one, and the rose one. And in the green one, I have put some cuddle bug dies. So if you're going to a friend's house and you want to bring your new confetti dies that Cricut came out with, that um, I'm going to use for a project for Valentine's Day that I haven't really told Ken about. So um, yeah, you can put them in a pouch and they fit right in here. And then when you close it, it's a little flatter than normal, but it works. Bring them with you to a crop, to anything. So these are really cool, and they're color-coordinated to match the new Cricut Explore Air 2s. Yeah, Erica said they need purple. So purple. probably in the future they'll come out with new colors, because I think mm -hmm. these are selling really well. Yeah, I think so. Um, if you go on Cricut.com, uh, they are on sale. 
And if you use the code CRASHBY2, all one word, you'll save 15% more, plus get free shipping in the continental U.S. In Canada, you have to spend more than $50, and then you'd get free shipping, but you'll still get 15% off. So some people have noticed when you go on Cricut.com and they have pictures of these, there's pink or rose tools and blue tools and mint tools in them. They're coming soon. We haven't been given a date yet, but they're coming soon. So these are kind of cool because they're gray on the outside with the color on the inside. You can see the color easily when they're closed and they kind of match the totes a little bit. Does anybody have any questions about them? Well, some people are asking about other colors, and that's really all Cricut, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you would like to see other colors, I would suggest that you send an email to Cricut and say that you would love these in plaid or whatever. I just framed them. And you oh, picked, sorry. You I picked, picked it up. up. Sorry. <laughs> so they hold these dies very nicely. And they hold the tools very nicely. This will be great if you go to a friend's house or to a retreat or to a church function or anything. You want to bring your tools because it's like a little stand. So you don't have to bring a cup and your tools or any of that. It's storage and transport and functional use all in one. And the top is kind of padded, too. So your pokey tools aren't going to poke through on you. So these are great on the go. <laughs> Sheila says Elizabeth Taylor here. Hey, Liz. Um, one thing about putting dies in here is because the dies are so square, they barely kind of fit, so the inside pouch is a little tight when you zip it closed. You just have to make sure it's pushed in all the way. But other than that, it works perfect. Um, Kathy asked if the Cricut markers stand up in those. And we have one of the pens in here. And everything stands up pretty well. You can see the caps to get the colors. Or I'll put them upside down because then you could see the if they're fine or medium or bold or metallic or gel or what other Cricut pens are there? Gel? Names on the oh well. <laughs> yeah, they don't come in bold, do they? <laughs> so these are the new Cricut pouches. I love and them. When it has, we have a lot in it, so it is pretty wide when you close it, but if you don't have a lot in it, they can get pretty flat. Yeah. So here's the ones with the dies. Do you want to zoom in on that? So here's the ones with the dies, and then Ken will close the one with the tools in it. Yeah. Maybe. Pokey tool posting. So there's the two. And they, I have to press this to be flat, but I'm sure if you put it on a shelf or in a drawer or something, depending on what you had in it. And this one is the one with the dies in it. And, and even with the dies, it stands up. So some people have asked how much they are, and they're, I have our link. They're twelve ninety nine normally, but they're on sale, and we don't know how long the sale is going to last. When does the sale start? Usually Tuesday or Monday? Wednesday. Wednesday. One of those days. One of the days that end in day. So their new sales usually start Wednesday, so uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that the sale is on till Tuesday night. So they're $9.74, um, and if you use the code CRAFTSBY2, all one word, you can save an additional 15%. So for 10 bucks, less than 10 bucks, I think they're really good. And they have a little cricket logo on it. And Kathy asked, can they be decorated with heat transfer vinyl? Probably not. Mm. According to the 
tag inside, the inside is polyester, and the outside is nylon. Yeah. So I would be wary of doing heat transfer vinyl. Like regular vinyl. Regular vinyl. vinyl. Outdoor like vinyl. You can probably do on the bottom portion, because this is pretty... It's got some reinforcement in it. And the top is padded. Yeah, and the top is padded, and you fold it over, so regular so vinyl probably wouldn't adhere to that well. But you might be able to do heat transfer vinyl. You just have to be very careful and accept the fact that you might ruin your pouch. And until you figure out uh, what temperature and how long <laughs> to do it for and all that other crazy stuff. Megan just asked, is it water resistant? And being nylon and polyester, I would say it is. The seams are um, all double stitched for the most part. The outside is only a single stitch, but like the pouch itself on the bottom where it connects to the case. Might be better on one of these. Um, there is double stitching along here. So I'd say it's pretty water resistant. We haven't poured water on them yet. And Stacy, they're just pouches for tools. And one thing we didn't show, we also had the little uh, burnishing tool and distressor tool in here also along with all these other tools so you can keep your tools in your pouch not just tools Ken you can put dies you can put really anything you want that'll fit in here you can decide if you want to use one for little pieces for a card let's say I'm making a card and I'm gonna have tons of little pieces here's an empty one I can use that and just throw my pieces as I'm done in there and then pull them out of there. You can really use it for whatever you want. I don't think a cartridge will fit. Well, Erica just asked, how does a Cricut overlay in cartridge? There's no overlay in there. Fit. But if the cartridges will fit fine. Let me find one of the older style. We don't have anything open right now. A cartridge will fit in here perfectly, and an overlay will definitely fit in here. Yeah, it's pretty wide enough. The overlay would fit. Yeah, if these, if these confetti punches fit in here, an overlay will fit in here. And then you could color coordinate too. And Leslie mentioned that maybe you could stencil fabric paint on it, and that may work. Yeah, fabric paint would work. So you could use the Cricut uh, stencil vinyl to put on the outside, paint them. And with nylon, maybe an alcohol ink permanent marker would work mm -hmm. with it. So Possibly. you could stencil on. Ooh, we could do a, a cool Press by 2 logo. Hashtag just saying. And you can customize it. There's the little hook for the zipper, so you could always customize your own tag. Um, the zipper also, these are really cool, I know it's kind of silly, but um, the it has a little Cricut logo and head on it in each one of the uh, tags, or not tags, zipper pulls have that. So they're on sale right now for $10, less than $10, $9.74 on Cricut, so you can pick one up for yourself or maybe a couple because they're really inexpensive, but they're really high quality. I think these are going to be really durable with the stitching. Yeah. And if you use the coupon code CRAFTSBY2 at checkout, all one word, and two is spelled out, not the number, and um, you'll get an additional 15% off. What's also nice, I just noticed, is whether you put them like in the bookcase like this, you can see the color, and even if you put them in backwards, the zipper goes over far enough that you can see the color on the back too. So if they're on a shelf like this, and you know your tools are in the blue one, <laughs> you can see the blue. Leslie also mentioned they also hold a stash of M&Ms. Don't ask me how I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Leslie, you know I'm going to be going through your pouches when you show up at Crafty you, right? Do they hold peanut M&M's or plain M&M's? 
would think they would hold all of them. Well, I need to know what she's going to have in hers, because if they're <laughs> plain m ms I'm not really going to go after them. But if they're peanut, I'm all over it. So she's now going to lie about what she puts in them. Oh, she would never do that. And Kimberly says the little pouch on the side is perfect for my chapstick, too. Oh, good call. Oh, almonds, you're safe. <laughs> you're safe. I won't be visiting your pouch. <laughs> oh. so, Melody Lane! So now, moving on to the star of the show, the yes, totes. I'm here. So what do you want to do first? Do you want to do the bag? We're showing the new bags, not the old bags. Right. What? You said the star of the show when you were here. Oh. <laughs> So let's show the new, the new, what is this, the shoulder bag? I guess I should have learned the name. Yes, this is the shoulder bag. So this is like a, um, kind of like I call it a computer bag. So it has really nice uh, shoulder strap on it. And the one thing that really impressed me about the shoulder strap is how nice, thanks, Kenny, how nice these clips are. They rotate independently. They're really, really thick metal, um, and the clasp is really nice. It's not a cheap design. It's really well made. It's strong, and they have them on both sides. So your bag's your bag strap is not going to get all twisted when it's over your shoulder. Um, it's pretty long. I don't have it really long here if you want to unzoom. It's easy to get on and off. I don't have it really long here because it, it wouldn't look good on the video and just get in my way. It has hand straps, which are pretty long too. So let's start on the outside and go in. Real um, quick, um, Barbara asked for a video on the confetti dies, and we actually did a live video on Facebook when they came out. So if you scroll or search our page, you'll be able to find that. Uh, that's when we did the uh, new mint cuddle bug, because mm -hmm. it came with one. So let's start on the outside and go in. So first you have two pockets on the outside. Two very big, spacious pockets. I can get my hand in and make a fist inside the pocket. And what's nice about these is there's magnets in the top that close them. So you can put stuff in and they'll be closed. And then if we turn around to the back, oh, there's three more pockets. A really big one. Oh no, this is the thing for the... Yeah, that's for the bigger tote, which will show the rolling tote, you so have, you can put it over the handle. You have two smaller pockets that I can fit three of my fat fingers in, and it doesn't go all the way down. So it goes further than I can stick my fingers in. So we're getting some questions. So people are asking how much, and the shoulder bag is seventy nine ninety nine on Cricut. And oh. we have the link in the top in our description to jump to the category and I'll just post it again and this is our affiliate link so shopping through this link you'll help support Crafts by Two and this takes you to the category where you can see all the totes. Um, it says Cricut on the bottom so sh shoulder strap hand straps they have a really cool um, metallic link to them that hold them on um, these feel like leather. I don't know if they're real leather. Yeah, I don't know for sure. Um, and then you have a double zipper that has the Cricut logo, just like the little pouches did. All these have them on. And when we got this, all this metal was covered with uh, semi-adhesive plastic to protect it. I zoomed in so people can see so um, there's the little Cricut logo. You probably can't see it that well. And then let's open it. So when you open it, one of the questions is... Oh, it smells so good. What will fit inside the general dimensions? Um, so it's the dimensions aren't posted on Cricut itself. We were looking before. I would say we don't have ruler handy, of course. 
but this is probably about 17 to 18 inches. One moment. Melody, isn't there a, a, a tape measure over here? Right there. Could you grab that for me, please? One moment while we have our assistant, Melody Lane, help. Thank you, Melody. You're welcome. Say hi, Melody. Hi, Melody. <laughs> I love when she does it. So at the bottom, it is four inches wide by 14. 14 inches tall. And how wide? Oh, and how wide. <laughs> so I'm going to go from the braiding. It is 15 and 3 quarters inches wide. So 4 by 14 by about 15 and a half. Right. So inside, I have my MacBook Pro. A 15 inch MacBook Pro fits. So let's move this to the side. So inside, there's this blue and kind of yellow striping. I think it's more gray. Gray? Because this is kind of a gray tweed. Oh, yeah. But it has this leather cricket badge inside. And it says, designed in the USA. And this is going to sound stupid, and maybe it's just a guy thing. Um, but because the bag is closed, when you open it, you get hit with the smell of leather. And it, it smells really nice. So inside, you have this big pouch up here. This is on the top. And really quick, we were asked where it's made. Don't have the full details on that. The tag says designed in the USA. Right, I don't think this is made in the USA. Um, I think this is actually made in China. But we don't know for sure. Uh, well, the other ones I know for sure. Oh, okay. They say inside. <laughs> okay. Um, this one, let me look. This one has a tiny little tag in the bottom. Oh, it says made in China. Okay. So, so they're made in China. So, let me open this again. So here, uh, this top area is made for a laptop. It's... Or anything. But yes. Yeah, but probably for a laptop. Um, it's closed on the side, so it's like a separate pouch inside the bag. It's big enough to fit my MacBook Pro, so if you wanted to put paper or a paper pad or an iPad or any of that in there, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Do you want to grab some paper and a mat so people can see? Sure. So, we're going to fit, this is a pack of the new Cricut Paper Color. That fits in there, a mat fits in there. So it holds a mat. Just fine. So the mat, because it's warping from us holding it up, it's a little awkward. Yeah. But the mat fits. A 12 by 12 mat fits in just fine. Yep. And then the paper fits with room to spare. So let's take out the mat. Why don't you bring it down lower? And you want to hold it open. Because we have a bunch of the new Cricut paper. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven more pads. And if you slide it over, you can probably fit, you know, like three more inches. There's seven more pads, so there's a total of eight pads. Does that fit? Yep, with room. Oh, to yeah. spare. And Ken put that in the laptop pouch. So if you hold it up like this, well, let's put it upside down. You still got room. You still got room. So this is upside down from the way I had it before. The paper is in what I call the laptop pouch. There's still more room, and then you have a zippered pocket inside too. And if we take the paper out, you can see a little bit better how big that zippered pocket is. So the zippered pocket goes probably down to three inches below the bottom. 
I don't know if you can see that really well. But it's stitched on the inside. It's got a nice zipper. Again with a Cricut pull. That you could put small items in. So you got your laptop area, you got your paper area, or your anything you want area. Oh. Is the cuddle bug over there? No. no. Cuddle bug boxes over there. It might fit a cuddle bug, but it'll be tight. But that's really all you're going to get in there. Yeah, you're not going to fit a lot in here. You don't need one for the cuddle bug. It has a handle. Yeah. But, but it will definitely hold the cuddle bug plates. I do like the smell of the inside of this. So you can hold quite a lot with all the pockets on the outside. You can fit all your accessories I think your cuddle bug plates stuff. could even fit in the front pockets. Mm hmm and with the magnet at the top so they can fit sideways to be down underneath the magnet so you still get that seal when the magnet makes its little snap. So this is a shoulder bag. So I really think the shoulder bag, you could easily fit enough stuff for a weekend retreat. Yeah, I could probably fit all the paper that's down on the floor in this bag. And there's, we've never, all right, Total honesty, we're never going to use all this paper that's over here on the floor probably for a year or two. So that would fit in this bag. It would be heavy, but it would fit. So that's the shoulder bag from Cricut. Right. Does and anybody have any last questions? It's seventy nine ninety nine. Just wanted to see. No, no side. And back. Jimmy's asking if this is the computer compartment padded. And yep. The whole thing is padded. The whole thing is padded. The computer compartment, the divider, the thing that the com the laptop sat in. So this little divider thing here, this is also padded. It's really nice padding. Um, the the thing, the um, pocket on the inside, the zipper pocket. It's padded on the back, but not on the front. And the padding on the outer edges is, I'd say, like maybe a quarter of an inch, kind of a foam rubber. It's very, yeah, it's heavy. very resi resilient too. Mm, the back side's heavier than the front. So oh, the yeah, back side, where your laptop is, is padded or, really well. And it comes in a nice. Neutral tweed. Thanks, Cricket. So I don't have to be carrying around a pink <laughs> bag. I appreciate that as a man crafter. And it's got the leather or faux leather at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about accidentally setting your papers down in to a wet spot. Right. Potentially, it would, it would be um, water resistant, and it has like a little. There's padding in the bottom too, so it's square. Yep, to help square it's it and square keep it, and, it and flat to stand. And keep it flat. Well, it doesn't really stand. Well, there's nothing in it either. I'm sure if there was something heavier in it besides air. So my only complaint is... Oh, it's standing. Ta -da! With the strap, I would probably add, if I really plan on carrying this on my shoulder, for extended periods, like if we were traveling at the airport or something, I'd probably add one of those little extra wider straps to have rest on your shoulder, because this thin might start cutting to your shoulder if you're carrying a lot. That's my only complaint. And uh, a shoulder, padded shoulder thing. Well, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Like one I of thought those, you meant a thicker strap. Well, the wider pad that you could put over that. Yeah. That would be nice to have. Maybe that's an additional add-on that's coming soon. So next. Next up we have the Cricut Machine Tote. There is it in frame now. And will it hold a 17-inch laptop? Probably not because it's 15 and a half inches wide. Yeah, so how wide is it? And 14 inch inches laptop? tall. So it would really, it might be a tight squeeze depending upon your dimensions. It holds our 15 inch laptop really easily. It might hold a 17 inch laptop. It really depends on how wide your 17 inch laptop is because your 17 inch laptop 
is 17 inches diagonal. And the whole bag is 15 and a half inches, right. so the pouch is probably 15 or a little smaller. Right. So here is the machine tote. It comes with a dual strap that, as you can see on the front, are riveted in four times. So these straps are really strong. Um, let's start at the back. The back, you have an uh, elastic strap on the back that goes over the, what is it, what's the official name of the other thing? It's the rolling craft tote. The rolling craft tote. So this goes over the handle of the rolling craft tote to hold it in place. Um, on each end, you have a nice pouch, again with the Cricut em embossed, emblazoned, embossed and emblazoned, uh, zipper pulls. And it opens into a nice big pouch. This is where I saw it was made in China. And it's got the little fabric at the edge, so you don't have to worry about everything just flipping forward and falling out. Right. So you could use this to hold stuff in. Um, really whatever you wanted to put in there. And you got about an inch of space when it's zippered yeah. closed. Because this is very heavy fabric. Yeah, this is a, a heavy tweed. It has PVC in between it. Can you hear me knocking on it? This is the table. This is the box. Pretty much the same same <laughs> material. Um, so there's one on this end. Oh. And one on this end. It also has an attachment. What did I do with it? I put it behind me. An attachment for this really, really nice shoulder strap and this has the pad <laughs> to help with the carrying like I was commenting on the other bag and it's a lot wider um, it has the really really nice uh, what are these carabiners or something carabiners yeah uh, these are really heavy metal really nice a brushed finish uh, they're not cheaply made, you know, like when you go into the stores and sometimes they're like, eh, you're lucky. Okay, if I get it on and it stays on, I'm going to be happy. Yeah, that's not this. This is really, really well made. And it spins independently of the strap. So again, your strap's not going to get all spun around. Um, I didn't put it on, but it's really long. So it goes over the whole length without being extended. Let's put your side on. So, and that's not extending it at all from how it came. So you could extend that to put it over your shoulder if you wanted to do that. Right. <laughs> so you get this much more room. Um, then you have dual snaps to keep the handles together, so if you're carrying it just by the handle. And when you take it apart, I don't know if this is a nice thing. I kind of like it. But then somebody asked us about taking this on a plane, if this was carry-on friendly. Uh, it's really dependent upon your uh, airline, whether they'll allow you to bring something this long on. It'll fit in an overhead. Uh, whether they allow you to put it in the overhead is the other thing. Um, and I was thinking for traveling like that, though, there's no lock. This is held with a bunch of really, really strong magnets. So that's the magnets pulling it closed. So I, when we first got it, I thought, oh, that's so cool. It's magnetically sealed. And then I thought, oh, well, if you're going on a plane, though. But really, who on a plane is going to open up and take your cricket? No, I'm joking. Uh, Jimmy, but when you were showing the smaller pouches, Leslie mentioned that they also hold M and M's. And Jimmy said if she, um, she's gonna find Leslie if she fills that up with M and M's. So Leslie, thing, Leslie will be at Crafty U. So if you open it, there is nice padding inside to hold your cricket in place on the top, and it goes all the way back. 
Where you go? All the way back. Um, we have our Blue Air 2 that we have yet to hook up and do our video on. Oh, in there, and I'm just going to set that on the side. There's the rubber foaming inside also. This really holds your Explore in place. Um, I guess we should have showed them with the Explore in there. There's about mm, an inch and a half or two inches on each end that uh, there's room to grow. So uh, if you wanted to put a different machine, I'm not sure, we don't have an expression or anything to put in here to see if it fits. Uh, we only have Explore family machines. They all fit in here perfectly fine. They fit very snugly with the, the foam rubber. They're very nice. And Maureen just asked where to buy, and the link is in the description, and I also just put it in the comments. So, and then you can see in the bottom, the foam rubber is cut out, and you can put your accessory cords, your power adapter, everything right into the bottom. And again, it's really, really sturdy. Uh, the only part that's not super, like, hard plasticky is the rounded parts on the top. So the top panel is hard, is but the sides are hard, but not as hard. They must be segmented plastic inside, mm -hmm. I would guess. So it's hard to see, but at the bottom, this solid piece that's cut out, there's about two layers of one inch foam that's very solid, not like the kind of air foam like you're used to seeing on packaging that's on yeah. the sides here with this egg crate stuff. Um, this, this is very solid. This build of foam. this uh, carrier reminds me of like professional photography equipment that it's made to fit specific things and it fits super well and it holds them comfortably in place and keeps them safe. And then you close it again if you wanted to. And it holds it closed. Um, I don't know why you'd want, but there's the bottom. No pockets. But it, this is like a rubberized material on the bottom, so That's again, right. you don't have to worry about possibly putting your machine into a damp spot on the ground. Yep. And it is very solid, great materials, and a very nice design. It's 129 but if you're traveling a lot and want convenience, a nice bag, something that's meant for your machine and that's really going to protect it, uh, I think this is worth the price. Yeah. And it, I think this, because of the way the tweed is, this will wear very nicely. Yeah, it's not going to show dirt and scuffs all yeah. that much. Well, challenge accepted, <laughs> Ken. You know how I am with stuff. So yeah, you got the two pockets on the side. You could put more stuff inside next to the Explorer, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, Jimmy asked for the approximate weight. About this heavy. <laughs> I'd say maybe four, three or four pounds. Yeah. Four to five pounds. Well, how heavy, let me see. My laptop versus this. It's a little bit heavier than my laptop. So I think my laptop's like three pounds, something. Yeah, so I'd say probably five pounds. But it's built super well. <clears throat> it's going to keep your machine in great condition when you travel. You don't have to worry about stuff falling on the in the car on it. It's, it's really, it was nice. I was surprised at how snug, well not surprised, but pleasantly surprised at how snug the machine fit inside without being squished. Um, because the inside it has the foam rubber pieces as well as the foam pieces, it stays in place so it doesn't shift back and forth if the, the 
carrier should be shifting back and forth. Your machine's not going to slide around inside. I think it's really nice. Does anybody have any last questions on the tote for the machine? People are saying, wondering if they'll be on HSN, probably because of the flex pay. Flex pay. <laughs> they might be. I know they've sold out once, right, on Cricket. So Cricket's probably waiting for the glow to wear off and the enthusiasm, and then maybe they'll possibly offer it on HSN. So one more bag. Oh, and this is a big one. And this is the Rolling Craft Tote. <laughs> we got to adjust the camera. Is it in? Yep. Can you see it? Yep, everybody can see it. Okay, cool. And they can see me, but not you. They can oh. see, they can see like the top of your head. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so let's start. Um, let's start on the bottom. So on the bottom, you have these wheels that you can pop off. There's two kind of orangey uh, buttons that you can see. You can see. Oh, you just moved it. Well, yeah, okay. So there's these two orangey buttons that you just push in, and they pop off. And you could take the wheels on or off. So with them off, this would just sit on the ground flat. Um, and then you got it. This is right. I just push that in, and they pop back on, and they roll really nicely. The casters in these are really, really nice. And they have hubcaps. <laughs> no, they do. They have little hubcaps. So you want to zoom back out? Oh, I didn't take the tag off this one. And of course, where's the template? In the accessory pouch. <laughs> or not. Did you take it back at some point? Oh, here it is. tape measure while you're doing this? I can get it. Here, you can hold the tape measure. So let's do the two sides first. Ooh, whoop, edge of the table. So you have this big pouch. Do you want to unzip that for him, Kenny? You have the two really nice Cricut embroidered embossed pulls on the side and that goes all the way down and it has the protectors on the side so it doesn't just flop open. So you can fit quite a lot in there. And this is a little more flexible than the pouches that were on the side of the machine tote just because it's larger and more fabric. So you can let the items bulge a little bit if you really want to fit a lot in those. <laughs> Then you have the handle, which has the, the um, rivet on it that holds it in place. And this, much like the machine tote, is the hard plastic made with the same materials. So you have that on that end. You have the same thing on this end. Do you want to open that just to make sure? Because I haven't looked at this as much. Ta-da! to store your little tchotchkes or your embellishments. And then, look at the back of this bad boy. I don't know if I have to go over by you, but then I can't see anything, so you're going to have to talk about it. So you have two small Velcro closed pouches, and this is probably about two inches on the side, and then another one down below. 
and then you have a larger one on the side. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Over here. And again, it's about two inches. So definitely you could fit a ton of embossing folders in there and all your accessories on the back. What I liked is that they did give you two smaller pouches because I really hate when they give you like two large pouches and then you yeah. fill up the bottom and either to make most of the space, you really pack it in and then you have this just huge deep pool of stuff. But now with the two smaller pouches, you can get at the materials easily. How high can they see? They can see beyond that. So they can see about... So this has a... They can't see that. No. <laughs> the telescoping handle goes about... 22 and a half inches up. So how much is it from the bottom? How tall to the top of the handle Well, pole? from the wheels to the top of the handle pole, it's like 39 inches. So which is a really comfortable height for rolling. And this is the luggage handle that we were talking about with the shoulder bag and the machine tote where they have the items on the back so you can lay that on top. Do you want to put it on? Do you want to put it on? Yeah, why don't you rest this on the table and we'll just put the machine tote. Ultra wide shot. Oh. There you go. Let's extend it higher. Well, they can't see beyond the top of the machine tote right now. Well, I just want to make sure that all three things fit comfortably. And of course, I can't see. Oh, that's nice. And you have a lot of room at the very top. So I have all three bags on top of each other. Bring it down on the floor. We can at least bring it down just a little so they can see the top. You got it? Get that edge. I was going to move it. So there's all three items, the rolling craft tote, the machine tote, and the shoulder bag using those little back handles. And there's lots of room to have up here for your hand. And Monique, we were asked earlier about the weight of the machine tote and we feel it's about five pounds because it's very solid plastic material. Zooming in a little. All right, so the top is much like the top of. Well, do we want to turn it around? Sure. <laughs> Oops. What are you doing? I was just holding it. What okay. are you doing? I was trying to move it straight, and you seem to keep pulling the corner back. Okay, so project a little. What? Oh, project your voice so, a little. <laughs> so the front of this is much like the front of the machine tote. It's magnetically closed. They're pretty strong magnets. And then when you open it, ta-da! And I can't see Kenny, so you're gonna have to. So there's the Cricut leather label again. And there's a little pocket here with your little extra strap. I'm not quite positive what this is for, but it's a Velcro strap. So is there a Velcro underneath here? I'm not seeing any. So I'm not quite positive what that's for. I don't know. We'll have to ask. Does and that go underneath the front? No, I just tried. So I'm sorry for that. So that's tucked into a little pouch up top. So I'm just going to slide that back into the pouch for a moment. And then you have these two pouches on the top. And these are actually Velcroed. So you can move them and position them on this interior oh. felt 
give me that strap. So if you take oh. take the strap, put it over the top. Oh, okay. Onto so it the it up. so it holds it open. Yep. So let's show people. So the strap comes around the lid, and it's Velcro, so you can put it on the handle to hold the lid open. And that just came up in the chat. So you have these smaller bags, which you can take out, and they're clear. That's kind of cool. And so you can see your tools, and there's an interior pouch as well. So you can have some smaller things in there, and it's really nice so you can see your materials without having to hunt around through all the pouches. And like I said, what's really cool is there's two things of Velcro on the back, so you can position this wherever you like, sideways, vertically. Well, you have to keep in mind the opening Yep. when you're traveling. So, so, like, you couldn't have it over the top of this. Right. So there's two of those. With room for lots more. <laughs> and then the front has zippers at both sides. So you can extend the side, again, with the little fabric catches. And this has a laptop case built into it also. So tilt it forward just a little bit. I think it's okay, George. And there's a laptop case here as well, and this is padded. The sides are just fabric, but the inside has some padding to it. And then you have uh, two, three little slot pockets here. You can't fit too much because these are stitched tightly but you could definitely fit some cables and things. And there's the Velcro closure to hold your laptop in. And then you have the larger compartments. You have this large compartment here, and then the center with two areas. So you could definitely keep paper in here. So when you open it up, if you unzip the front, you don't have your paper falling forward. And then this larger compartment over to the side. Do you want to say anything while I hold it? Yes, I do. I'm not used to not being on camera. Um, <laughs> they also give you the silicon gel thing. I'm not sure why, but they do. Ugh. And I'm taking them out. So I really haven't looked at this bad boy yet. This is really nice. Really sturdy inside. I like it a lot. You could pack lots of stuff for retreating here. Um, we know from pictures on Cricut, the front portion where the laptop bag is fits your cuddle bug easily. Um, so you could put that in here, you could put that and a lot of other things in here. This is really nice. And people are asking if Cricut is going to sell other pouches. <laughs> um, these pouches, we don't know of Cricut having any other plans. And I saw a comment that it looks like you could fit about four of them. And it's really about three because of these the um, dividers. The dividers. It's a little hard to see. These dividers go right to the top when it's closed and help provide some support for the top of the case. Because when you put the machine tote on top of this with an Explorer in it, you need that extra support. And this, again, is very solid. These little bags are cool. And the walls are not movable and yeah. again it's mainly because like i said it needs to have that extra support for when you put a machine tote on top with an explorer did you show them how wide these open and you can open these all the way so totally open if you wanted to have it laying flat so you could have it on your tabletop, and they both have a bit of a ridge, so that way you won't have your tools rolling off the table. And 
I saw a comment about, does the cricket fit in this one? No, it does not. You would have to use the machine tote for that, and that's what it's designed for. Uh, this is definitely more for supplies because this solid structure is not adjustable. And I saw a question if this would hold one of the iris boxes. And as long as it's not an oversized one, you can probably fit an iris box in the front compartment here in the center. Yeah. So any questions or anything? So we're going to unwrap the lid. Just flap it inside for now. And I think, whoops, and you can see the little pouches was getting in the way of closing it. What I like is Cricut really put thought into all of this. So instead of just this Velcro thing, which is nice, instead of just having it so it hangs loose, they give you this little pouch so you can fold it up and put it in the pouch and have it tucked away out of the way. And a cuddle bug will definitely fit in there, no yep. problem. You can actually go on the Cricut website and they show a cuddle bug in the front compartment of this carrier, the rolling carrier. And we've gotten some questions about are the wheels sturdy? Yes. And these are some of the most sturdy wheels. They're narrow. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. They're narrow as far as the um, wheels themselves. So there is some potential that you could go over grading and the two wheels might slid in, but they are very solid. The axle is pretty solid and the whole construction of the wheels as far as the legs and everything is very, very solid and nice. Yeah. Um. And Monique asked if will a Sizzix fit and the Sizzix most of the machines would fit. I don't know if the Big Shot would fit. Yeah, the Big Shot doesn't fold up at all. So I don't think that would fit in there. But some dimensions. Um, if you measure just the side, the pouches in the back stick out a little bit. So it's about 10 and a half inches. And for the body of the case, it's, whoa, I'd say about 14 and a half inches for the inside. The entire height with the wheels is 18 inches. And then the front is 26 inches. <laughs> and amusingly, the magnets are so strong on the front for the lid, it was holding the tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> so I can hold this if George wants to talk. Yeah, I think he did a good presentation. Good. Self and gel. So again, these are just super solid, really nice machines. Or cases, totes. For your machines. For your machines and accessories. Are there any other questions? And I saw a question on what's on the inside. We can pop it open a little bit. But we did go through that in the video. So you might have to go back and watch the replay. Yep. All that's done. So our link is in the description of the video. And I put it in the chat a few times to shop through our link and help support Crafts by 2 and don't forget if you use the coupon code Crafts by 2 <laughs> bless you <laughs> if you use the coupon code Crafts by 2 and it's the word 2 um, you'll save an additional 15% off and get free shipping in the US and buying most of these totes you would also get over the $50 to get free shipping in Canada yep 
<laughs> and Susan's asking if we're doing a giveaway, and we're not doing a giveaway. Uh, um, Cricket may provide something. Uh, we asked, and um, we, we weren't told no, but we weren't told yes either. And Anna, yes, you can unzip the front. I won't do it again, but there's zippers on both sides, so you can unzip the front, and then it's held by fabric, so it opens about six inches and tilts forward. So you'll be able to watch the replay and see all of our videos. Yep. Or all the demonstrations uh, all of all videos. the machines. Uh, machines, bags, totes, accessory bags, pouches. Pouches. So, the pouches. Let me see one. Oh, those fit in the big pouch in the back. So, you can put a pouch in a pouch. <laughs> we just like the these totes and bags and pouches a lot, so we wanted to share them with you all. We know we've been receiving lots of questions, and we know it's nice for everybody to see them in action and see the quality. And again, the quality of these are just really nice. Even the top is, you know, got some strength to it. It's not just fabric. Everything's got a really strong, good feel to it all. Right. One of the things that I kind of noticed about these totes is I was impressed with the build quality on them. Because, you know, like when you go out and you buy new luggage and your luggage is like, okay, it's good for like clothes and stuff. Why don't you set it down? But uh, underneath? Whichever. Out of the way. If you want to bring up the machine tote, maybe. <laughs> can you reach it? If I can reach it without getting my fat bum up. So these are built really well. Um, I was more impressed with the build on these than we bought new luggage. What was it last year or the year before? And it was okay. I mean, it's luggage. This is built better than our luggage. Um, and I, your luggage definitely takes more beating than I hope you're going to put these through. So I really like them. I'm really glad that, that I got them for me. <laughs> for you. So a lot of people had some concern about the price because they are a higher price, but you're getting quality for that price, right? for sure. You're getting something that will protect your investment for your Cricut Explore or Explore Air or Explore One or Explore Air Two. So any other questions or anything before we wrap up? It's been an hour. <laughs> These do look good with this. The gray's a little different, but it's not enough Well, I, that they stand I out. don't want it to be all matchy-matchy, though, but it complements it. Mm -hmm. And Sheila mentioned she got the shoulder bag for a total of fifty-three thirty-nine with all the discounts. So that's really cool. Is it our Sheila? Is it Liz? Yes. And Susan, we don't know if it'll fit an expression. We didn't have one on hand to try, but we gave the dimensions of the machine tote when we were um, doing it earlier in the video. So you can always watch that and judge the dimensions to see. Yep. So worth the investment, I think, especially if you go to retreats or crops or you go to church once a month to do crafty stuff. This is really nice to bring all your materials in. It's nice to store them in so you know that this is the stuff you're going to bring with you whenever you go to wherever you're going to. Um, and you don't have to mess with it when you bring it home if you don't want to. And Christy asked how do we compare it to the We Are Memory Keepers rolling tote. And I think the rolling tote is a little bit taller but I think they all have good quality storage. I think the Cricut is definitely wider. I think, which do I like better? I kinda like the Cricut tote better, I think. 
The Cricut tote feels, because it's got plastic in between the material, it feels more solid. And that could just be my impression. But it feels more solid. Whereas the We Are Memory Keepers is more luggagey, soft. And the We Are Memory Keepers is designed to kind of fold up and be compact right, when you're so, not using it. Right. And this, this isn't meant to fold up and be compact. This is meant to hold very sturdy your Explore and your materials and use them either right out of it or, or to store them in. So if you want to like hide stuff from your husband, wife, whoever, in the closet, just saying. And Missy asked when the pink tools um, are coming and... We have not been given a date. We know that they are coming, so from the demo photos of the pouches, you'll notice they had matching tool colors. Yep. And we confirmed with Cricut, and they did say that they are coming, but they didn't say when. Right. I think that was the first question I got when I posted the ad about the new pouches. Was, oh my god, are those all pink tools? And... Vicky asked, and thank you for bringing it up, if you buy the machine tote and the rolling craft tote together, you can save $30 as well. And then if you have Cricut Access, remember you save 10%. If you have Cricut Circle, which is a special club that you can buy into, um, if you go under, where is it now, under sale? If you go under the, in the Cricut shop under the sale banner, um, there's Cricut Access. You buy a cartridge and a membership into the Access for $79. They usually the have circle. the circle, sorry, circle. Um, there's usually one cartridge every year that is exclusive to that club. This year it is the Monograms cartridge. Um, it's $79. That includes the cartridge and the membership into the Circle Club. If you have both the circle and access, you'll save 20% on all your purchases. That's on all your purchases at Cricut.com and through Design Space. And if you purchase through Cricut.com and use the code CRAFTSBY2, you'll save on top of that an additional 15% and get free shipping in the continental U.S. Or if you're in Canada, you have to spend 50 American dollars before you get free shipping. But even if you don't spend 50 American dollars, you get 15% off. So you'd have to do the math, but investing, if you really like all these totes and bags and you want to invest in them, may be worth it for Access and Circle to get all those discounts. Yeah. I think for the $79 for Circle, um, and how much money we save over a year with the additional 10% off, and we save a lot because George buys a lot. I don't know what Ken's <laughs> talking about. I have no clue. So any last questions before we go? Because we haven't had lunch or breakfast yet. So I'm a little bit hungry. Yeah, a little tired. Crashy. Hangry? Not angry, just tired. Hired. Tangry? I'm hired. You're hired? Yeah. You're hired. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to go then. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Yep. And if you Bye. have any questions, feel free to send us an email, and we'll be happy to answer, answer them. Susan was asking how many cartridges do we have? Lots. <laughs> how many cartridges? We have a lot. And Sheila said she finished her mini jars, her mini mason jars. So you got to post photos. Yeah, you got to post photos, Sheila. Elizabeth. <laughs> So, bye everybody. Thanks bye. for joining us. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.